denying. Okay. Say the Yem Hashiach. Second. Givaldik. Okay, let's go. We are on Hayomid base. And we're in the middle of figuring out the size of the Kapoiris. So that we can figure out what is the minimum size of the Sukkah. We know that it's 10 Tzfachim. And we're looking for a Makar. We're looking for a Makar. Are we, are we, are we doing heater? We're doing heater. Oh my. We're doing heater. <laughs> Any form of eating. Stick on nostalgic, pulling out the heater. You know, reminds you of like the good old fashioned Dira. Heat doesn't work. So says the Gemara, we finished off last week. They were learning out of Gezira Shava from Pinay Pinay. It says Pinay Hakapoyres, and it says Pinay by the Karuvim, just like the Karuvim are a Tefach, so too the Kapoyres is a Tefach. We asked the Kasha. Oh, we asked the Kasha, good. And we said, I maybe it's from the bird, because the bird is also has a small Pinay. Excuse me. We first said it's Pinay. Then we said the Xer Shava, think you're of Shashi. We said from Yitzchik Aviv Pinay, Haka Pyrus. Asks the Gemara, where are we holding? Vinela. Five, Five lines down. First word in line is Hasam. Ask the Gemara, Vinela, me Panim Shal Why don't we learn out from the Panim of above? What is Panim Shal Maila? The face of the Malachim. As the Pasik says, that when you see the, uh, their face, then you will find Ratzin, you'll find uh, desire. But what do we see? We see that the face of the Malachim is also called a Panim. And uh, the Gemara is assuming that Malachim are uh, uh, Ratzin, and you will find my Ratzin, you'll find my desire. But we're learning out that the Malachim are bigger than a, a Tevach. Seemingly. So asks the Gemara that seemingly it should be bigger than a Tafach. Answers the Gemara, the same tariffs we've seen so many times. Tafasta, Meruba, Loi, Tafasta, Tafasta, Muat, Tafasta. Asks the Gemara further. Vene lav mi krov. Why don't we learn out Agzir Shava from the Kruvim? By the Kruvim, it also says the Pinei. Of the Kruvim, and we're assuming that the face on the Kruvim, it's a little bit of an assumption, which is interesting. We don't really have a, 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 um, a proof to this that the face of the Kruvim are not a Tefach. Now, actually, Rashi over here says, I don't know where Rashi knows this from, but Rashi is assuming that the face of the Kruvim are smaller than a Tefach. Probably. The reason is, no, I, I, I shouldn't say any reason. I have no clue why. I don't know why Rashi is assuming that the face of the Kruvim are smaller than a Tafach. Mecha is smaller than larger. Of course, it can't be larger. Well, so the answer is always going to be the No, but how do we know that the Kruvim, how do you know how big the Kruvim are? How do you know how big the Pnei Kruvim are? The size, no. uh, the, you take the whole size of 10 Tafachim and you go lower. You know, I, yes, I've was, I was seen it, but 10 Tafachim is 60 inches. It's the regular size of a person. Asking how the Gemara knows it was? Yeah, how does the Gemara know? Rashi is not a question. How does the Gemara know? Rashi is just saying the Gemara is asking smaller. I verstehe, but where did the Gemara get it from? Meaning the Pasik doesn't say anything that the, the face is smaller. It just says, why don't we learn it out from the face of the Kruvim? Okay, I, I found it... Uh, Found it interesting. I, I, they, they do quote over the bottom of here, similar like where you and Menachem are saying, if you do the math, it could be has to do with the 10th Fachim of the Kruvim. Oh, it, and therefore, we're assuming it's us. Very good. Says the Gemara, answers the Gemara, Amar Avachabar Yaakov, Gemiri, here it is. This is the answer. So, uh, you know, I was just bringing out what's the Kasha. Gemiri, what's Allah Chalmashim Sinai? They're not small than a tefach. So again, the Havamina must have been assuming in math. Tarot says, Allah Chalamay Shemi Sinai, Ravuna Nami Mehacha Gomer. And Ravuna himself learned out from over here that the size of the Kruvim were how big? One tefach. Asks the Gemara. Now that we're learning it out from the Kruvim, Umay Kruv. Who was Ravuna? What did, what did you learn from here? Rav Acha, go backwards. Amar Rav Acha bar Yaakov, Rav Huna, Pnei Pnei Gomer. 
Rav Huna was one that said, Xer Shava from Pnei Pnei. So we started off saying that he learned out Pnei Akapayres, Pnei Yitzchak. It's like a face. We asked, maybe it's like the Malachim. We answered Tfas the Merubah. We asked, what about the Kruvim? We answered what? Halacha Lemaisha Misinai, that the Kruvim are a Tefach. So parenthetically, the Gemara points out, now we have a singer. I didn't, I didn't speak this out. It's we it's have... Is the Tefach or it's not Pachos the Tefach? In... It's that smaller than a tefach. So it's at least a tefach. So we'll go back to Tfasim Rubalay Tefasta. And now we have another Mikar that the Kapiras is a tefach. So I think this is. Our learning from Kuvim. Pine, says the Gemara, Ravuna Nami, Ravuna, who said, Pinei, Pinei, what are the two Pineis? Mehacha Gomar is learning from here, from the Kruvim. So Ravuna can either be learning Xer Shava from Yitzchak Aviv, Pinei Yitzchak Aviv, or he could be learning Xer Shava from the Pinei Hakeruvim. So we have two Xer Shavas of Pinei. Klar? Should we say that again? Again. Ravuna said, we have Xer Shavah. It says, Pnei HaKap It says, Pnei elsewhere. At the end of the day, there's two times the Torah says the word Pnei that it means a Tefach. One time by Yitzchak Avinu, and one time by the Keruvim. Parenthetically, how do you know that the Keruvim were a Tefach? Talach L'Mesh Mesinai, says the Gemara. Okay. Says the Gemara, once we're on the topic of the Keruvim, what is a Keruv? Umay Keruv. What does the word Keruv mean? Very famous Gemara, I believe Rashi Latayer quotes this Gemara. Just assume that because, you know, most of us, we don't know Rashi, we may know the Gemara. Amar Avavua Kiravya. What's Kiravya? Like the face of a child, a teenike. Shekein Bebavel, in Bavel, Kairin Lianuka, they call a child a what? A Ravya. So Krov comes from the word of Kiravya, which means a child. Amr le Abaye asks Abaye, Elameata, according to what you're saying, that the face of the Kruvim is a child. Dechsev, what does it say? It says in Yechaskel by the Meister Merkava, Hashem's chariot, there are four faced Malachim. And the four faced Malachim, says the Pasik, Pnei ha'echad, the face of one of them is Pnei ha'krov. Pnei ha'sheni is Pnei ha'adam. One part, oh, uh, we're straight from the chasna, on the way, on the way. Pnei ha'echad, we should have also met there, I would have said this all extra, bro. When you, I met you on the way there, he's going there after, it's okay, give out. Pnei ha'echad, Pnei ha'krov, or Pnei ha'sheni, Pnei ha'adam, the apostle continues that the third face of the malachim was like an aryeh, the fourth face was like a nesher, the four-faced malachim. So ask Sabaye, Hainu Kruv, Hainu Adam. You just told me that what were the Kruvim, a child, but the Pasuk in Yecheskel says there are four faces. One of those faces is a Kruv, and one is a person. But if you're telling me that uh, the Kruvim are children, then seemingly it's the same thing. So what's the obvious answer? And I had a hard time with this Kasha. Yeah, very good. The cash is so hard to understand. I don't know. Very good. Abe Rava, Abe Zuchi. What? Yeah. Abe Rava, Abe Zuchi. Answers the Gemara. No, I really don't know what the... The Havamina bothered me for a very long time. It, it, the cash is so silly. The Gemara just said that the Kruvim are children. Asks the Gemara. We found the Apostle that says Kruv and Adam. Shkayach. It doesn't say child. It says Adam. Which is the Gemara's tarot. That is one's the face of an Adam, of, a, of an adult. One is the face... Of a, one is a face of a child. There is one of adults, one of adults. Correct. That's the answer of the Gemara. The question of the Gemara was, from the fact that it says Krov and Adam, we thought Krov and Adam were the same thing. So how are you telling me that Krov means child? Answers the Gemara. No, one's an adult. Like get into the Vatican and figure this out. Then no, this is, this, oh, you're saying the Kruvim of the whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Kruvim of, of uh, Mirta Shem. It's, it's also, it also talks about it. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't, no. The Aran the or, the or went. The Aran we don't have. have. They don't have the Vatican. It doesn't have the Aran. Oh, yeah? yeah. That what? That's what he said. Adam could be a baby. It seems like it, somebody said they saw it there or something. I think it's. The Menorah they have. It does. So what's the Kasha? No. 
that's we that we're saying maybe we thought that. Adam was a child. Yeah, we're saying that's that's the, that's the, that's what's changing in the Hamina that's gone. Okay, could be. They, they the right, right, no, it could be, you're right, you're right, it could be, that was the Hamina, that Adam just means person, and we're asking, okay, very good, very good. Okay, we got a little bit more about the Kruvim, a little more about the Kruvim. Okay, are, are we all clear? Umimai. Umimai, we're about 20 lines down, don't count me on that one. First one on the line is Adam. First one on the line is Adam. Says the Gemara. Much easier. How many? 15. 15. Not even Much close. Much easier to find it, by the way, with, <laughs> the, first, with the first word. Not even close. Yeah, first word line. I don't, I don't know what people thinking with the whole 20 line business. It's, it's how much? 15? Ah, oh, more. Okay. okay. <laughs> so we should be fast. <laughs> good. It's good. That's like that's how much the girl was after the photograph. Yeah, oh, forget though, that game. Nowadays, you don't want to play that game. It's not, it's not worth it. Just don't look, put the credit card in, and call it a day. A friend of mine said, pay in restaurants in cash. You only have to agma snafesh once. You don't have to see the credit card bill later. Umimai <laughs> dechalolo asara asks the Gemara. So wait, we, we just conclusively proved that the minimum height of a sukkah is 10 tfach. Now, anytime you talk about a height, there's two types of height. If I were to tell you these ceiling is 8 feet tall, I would be talking about the interior of the ceiling. The exterior might be much taller, especially in buildings. We know that there's thickness. So we just proved that the sukkah needs to be ten tfachim from the aroin. But let's just remember, the aroin's ten tfachim were what? The kapires was a tefach thick. It was a thick slab. The top of it is the ten tefach. So the interior of the aroin was much less than ten tfachim. At least nine tfachim, if not even less, if you're doing the math, because the aroin itself was multiple boxes, correct. The Gemara doesn't really deal with that. But the Gemara wants to know, we're proving from the Arain the interior of the Sukkah. Asks the Gemara, Umimai, and from where do you know? De Chalala. Chalal is a, a cavity, literally, the airspace, yes. The Chalala, the cavity, the airspace, is Asara Bar Mishacha. How do you know it's Tent Fachim? Excluding bar, excluding the schach, ema behadi schacha. Maybe it's including the schach. And really, included in the Gemara's question is, is the whole makar is from the aroin. And in the aroin, the tenth fachim is including the kapiras. So maybe it's tenth fachim including the schach, which would mean whatever the number is, exactly, which would mean small. Answers the Gemara, fascinating. Answers the Gemara, we need a new Makar. So we just spent the last, who knows how long, proving from the Arain, says the Gemara, you missed the boat. Kishmak. Okay. Ella, says the Gemara, mi beis elamim gamai. Let's learn from the beis hamikdash. Tersev says in the Pasuk in Malachim, vahabayis, and the house. Asher bana ha-melech shleim al Hashem that King Solomon built for God was shishim ama arkai sixty amois long ve'esrim rachbai twenty amois wide u'shloishim ama kaimasli thirty feet tall. By the way, very tall. That's about sixty feet tall. Massive. Okay. Oh, and we're just we're honing on the height right now. So let's just the other dimensions are good to know. Shlo- from the table. No, but we know you're going to see it in a minute because we have to see who's inside. Uksev and says the Pasik about the Kruvim. Kaimas ha Kruvim, the height of the Kruvim ha Echad of one of them, Eser Ba'ama, was 10 Amois, Vachain Krov Hashini. And so to the second Krov. Now, we have to know something fundamental about the Kruvim in the Beis HaMikdash. That were very different than the Kruvim in the Mishkan. The Kruvim in the Beis HaMikdash were not on top of the Arain. Yeah, yeah, big misconception. One of the things, they don't teach this in, in school. The Kruvim were standing on the floor. They were not standing on top of the Arain. Oh, no? Yeah, yeah. I believe in the Beis HaMikdash. What do you mean? As opposed to in the as opposed to the Mishkan. 
Most people usually think. Goes to the Mishkan. Yes, 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 yes. These are all going to be. These are all going to be very important. So it was different Kovim? Yeah. One second, one second. Ten Amos. Ten Amos is very big. Let's see. Hey, keep it going. Where are we going to see all this? This is the base of Mishra we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the base of Mishra was tall. Base of Mishra was tall, but they're standing on the ground. Base of Mishra didn't even have an R anymore. It was Second base of Mishra. That's uh, only Bayashani. Only Bayashani. Bayashani didn't have an R. Bayashani did not have an R. Bayashani was, was, uh, was a facade. Bayashani was always. Uh, was, was, uh, no, no, but they knew Bayashani wasn't going to last. And Bayashani, they didn't have the R. And they didn't have. Bayashani, they knew. Why? Because they had Nevoah. They, they knew it wasn't going to last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, You're supposed to know Nach. I don't understand. Didn't the last 400 years? And that's, no, 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 much less. much less. But I don't know Nach, so don't ask me. Vitania! You're just really, you're supposed to know these things. We learned, but I didn't need to. Oh, it's a chach, at least you learned. Uh, we, 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 we don't even know. We don't even know who the Nevi'im are. People wouldn't know the difference between the New Testament prophets and, and the real prophets. It's not a joke. It's scary. Vitania, and I'm, I'm, including, I'm including myself. It's not a joke. Vitania, and we learned in Abraisa, Mama Tzinu, just like we find. Bebeis Oilamim, and the Beis HaMikdash that Shlomo HaMelech built. Kruvim Bishlish Habayis Hein Oimdim. They were a third of the height of the Beis HaMikdash. Why again? 30 Amois. The Kruvim were 10 Amois. Okay, so 10 out of 30 is one third. So too says the Gemara, Mishkan Nami, and the Mishkan as well, Kruvim Bishlish Habayis Hein Oimdim. They were a third. So far, we didn't prove anything yet. So everyone hold on. They were standing. They were standing they, the the height was going to be, a, which was going to be on the top of the arm, we're going to see in a moment, very good, is a third of the height of the Mishkan. Says the Gemara, Mishkan Kamehave. How tall was the Mishkan? Eser Amo. The Apostlech says, Eser Amo. Very good, literally a third. Eser Amo. That the Mishkans are the crushing, the beams of the, the, the boards of the Mishkan. Where ten Amois. Kamehave Luhu. So how much is a third of that? Shitin Poshri. No. Three and a third amois. Yeah. So now let's take three times six. Good. Convert convert to so com, six com, is, is twenty. Welcome. Good, good. So the Gemara starts with what's the height of the Mishkan? Ten Amois, which is sixty Tfachim. Let's let's do that way. It's much easier. Yeah. A third of sixty Tfachim is twenty. Twenty Tfachim. Tilta Kamahave. So uh, excuse me, I, I jumped this up. Kamahavalu Shitin Poshli, Shitin is 60. 60 Tfachim. So again, 10 Amma is tall. Convert 10 Amma to Tfachim is Shitin Poshli. Says the Gemara, now let's convert that. Tulsa Kamahava. What's a third of 60? Esrim Poshli, 20 Tfachim. Thank you. Dao. Now subtract Asara, 10, Da'ara in the Kabairis. Which is probably the reason why we let the whole previous Kamara play itself out and we didn't jump in with this cash all the way back then. Probably. Oh, very good. So the Arun and the Kabayr stood at 10 Tfachim. And now the Kruvim's height on top of that was another 10 Tfachim. Hashilu Asaro was another 10 Tfachim. Uksif. So, 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 so what did we just prove? We didn't get anywhere yet. All we proved is the Arun is 10. And the Kruvim are not a ten, another ten on top of that. So what does that help us? Again, our whole problem was, let's remember, that the Aroin wasn't a good proof because we need interior space. But now that we prove that the Kruvim were another ten Tfachim, Uksev, and this is the clincher, says the Apostle, Vaya Kruvim, and the Kruvim were parse kenafayim lamala, they spread their wings above their head. Soichichin, that's the key word. What does Soichin sound like? Tzach. It covered big confeam with their wings. Allah kapayres. Tav the kapayres. Arye rachmanos chacha. So the Torah calls chacha when? Lamalo measara. When it's above 10 tfachim. So again, let's just get all the math. We're going to pause over here because we, we, just, we just read a lot of Gemara. But let's just get the math outside. The base of Migdash was 30 amis. The Kruvim in the base of Megdash were 10 Amois. 10 Amois to 30 is one third. 
the Mishkan was 10 Amois, which is 60 Tfachim. A third of 60 Tfachim is 20 Tfachim. Subtract 10 for the Aaron and the Kapiris. The Kruvim's top were 20 Tfachim minus 10 were 10. And that is called Seichichin covered on top of. So now we see that an interior of 10 Tfachim is called Seichichin. Uh, called second, maybe it's uh, on the whole 20. Because, no, because, no. Because, but, because the Oren was here. Good. The Kuvim were here. So it came, on top of this. It said maybe on the whole room. No, because the, no, the arms only went this way. Arms went this way. Well, no, because that's a Pasuk. That's a Pasuk. They were covering 20. No, no, no. no but but we are learning only the group. No, the Pasuk, the Pasuk is Alec Kapiris. Alec Kapiris. Soichin Alec Kapiris. I thought you asked something else. The Gemara is about to ask. Mecha Tesi that the arms were all the way in the top. Maybe their arms were equal with their head. And then we're back to square one. How do you know that the wings were above? Okay, Chavar, a lot of Gemara, a lot of Chazar necessary. A lot of Chazar necessary. We know that the third, yeah. that the third was by Mishkan too. We still give it a third by the Beit Hamikdash. Good question. I don't know. Uh, why? Where? 